Freelancing isn't always sunshine and rainbows. Bad reviews are the dark clouds. And when it rains down, it feels like you are drowning in pain. In this video, I'll be talking about my worst ever reviews as a freelancer. I'll be going into detail, showing you exactly what went down, how I responded, and how I got through it. I hope you get inspiration from it and enjoy. My name is Rich Monagia and welcome to my channel. I'm saying my full name because this is a very, very serious topic. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And I hope you enjoy, you get some information. I'll be talking about three people because those are the only three who have given me a bad review my entire life as a freelancer. And I hope you enjoy it. The first guy is called Eshlindo, aka Enoch. Um, what can I say about him? A little summary is he is a typical example of a client that you shouldn't take every single job you get. I, I took the job, it paid okay $50, but it was for way too much work and it ended up becoming something that it shouldn't have been. And I might take three days to finish my jobs. Because of him, we took like 10 plus days. And I, he ended up giving me a 2.7 star, my worst ever rating. So stay tuned to see what exactly transpired. And yeah, see you at the end of that. What's up everyone? And I want to start with the worst ever rating I received as a freelancer. The worst ever. And it goes to this guy, Ishlindo, AKA Enoch. Let's see the other details, $50 for creating a Facebook and text campaign. That was the initial job. So basically it was an email campaign. For example, if you're sending emails, an email sequence, you send an email to someone, people like to send like four emails. The first one is like, hey, my name is this what I offer. The second one is, do you still want this service? The one is, please, if I'm disturbing you, let me know. The fourth one is, okay, I'm just reminding you in case you need a service. Something like that, something along those lines, right? So he wanted a sequence and he wanted 12 for emails, 12 for text. It was such a crappy job because it was way too much. I now would have accepted to write 24 emails for just $50. Terrible. So, then I purchased your house, blah, blah. It was funny enough, this, the chat, the conversation was very cool. So that's why it came to me as a shock when I got a terrible rating. Like, you know when you get bad ratings, you just do not get along with the guy. But we had a very normal conversation. He is those types of people, like always looking for changes. Now he changed his mind. I just want, I just thought about it, and I want eight to twelve the sequence. We are three part mini series. Am I a producer? Is this Snowfall? Is this Atlanta? Is this Power? Am I a producer? Three part mini series about a real. Why? He just changed it. He switched up the whole thing. A real time solution that, like, come on, man. Text in red, red, R E D. Okay, I was so understandable those days, and I wasn't disrespectful in any way. I used to text in red to guide me, blah blah. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen, I've seen I had to go and research on YouTube to see how some guy did. I did it. I just said Google Sheets extension, agreed. Awesome, right? I'm sure I to for you to change the three parts in your series. Extend delivery date again. You see how something that was I started on the 30th of October, November 9th, you are still working on it. Evernote, all this thing. We kept working and I finally delivered the work. My shoe will always be open to you. Um, he didn't reply in three days, and five if you don't reply in three days, automatically. The order will be completed so it was completed it was cool okay yeah complete the order is done two days later i see that h lindo has given me a 2.7 star review his message i think he just picked up copywriting i ended up redoing everything he did after all the revisions and revisions and revisions communication five he did what to give me five in communication service two and buy again recommend one 
Vito I told him my mind at the end. Bad caption is mine as to what he wanted to do in the order how to extend on that many times just to try different things. Poor experience. Thanks for watching but other reviews say differently. Yeah, every single other review on the copyright and have five stars. He's the black sheep. And the annoying thing about this guy, the annoying thing, I wanted to review, I thought I could review, I could have given it a two star. But if I try to review, for example, for revenge, it will tell me something went wrong. You are not allowed to review after the bad reviews. But as I was saying, he is actually a freelancer, this guy. This is his freelance page. He's a level one. He's not even my level. And what goes around comes around. He's had a terrible review, 2.3 star for his job. And the person said, as with anything, there's ample room for improvement. Decided to change the client's ad copy without asking or even notifying the client until after the first a huge no-no. So he's not even that good. And he's a level one. And as a freelancer, you are giving me a 2.7 without even asking me to change or any revision. Give me a 2.7. Well, you don't expect someone to do that to you. When I well, when I saw the notification, I got a 2.7. It's my heart sank. You know when you get that bad news and your heart sinks like whoosh. That's what I got. I got a whoosh, like 2.7 star. Come on. Five other ratings are super important because any bad rating can take you back a level it can blackball you from five the second guy the second guy i'll be talking about is lee emily yeah he came to my inbox saying oh i know some Ghanaians. i love Ghanaians. i love what you're doing your t-shirts blah blah, blah. The, i'd like you to design these instagram icons for me it's like yeah good after right foot $15 for six designs fantastic we started designing and it was hell he's a type of client who requests for way too many changes and the type of client who pays way too little asks for so many things so it ended up becoming hell I designed design 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 and the communication was okay it looked like we were collaborating so at the end I, made, I, I gave him five stars because I thought I, it was okay it was a good experience but not only it was not good for him and he gave me a three star rating i told him like hey you need to change it because it's going to affect me say okay i'll change it he went to five hours try to change it five hours said that it's not allowed they gave me a strong warning my account got blackboard my gigs got less views and i got less messages from people looking for jobs because i was basically blackboard from fiverr and that's what forced me to go to upwork so stay tuned to find out what exactly transpired and see you after that clip this is the guy that got my account blackboard v for 15 dollars he ended up gave me three stars so i create six more instagram icons easy job very simple let's see how it went for $15, this, this is a type of client who pays little and wants a million things. And I'm going to show you why. I want to load the whole chat and go through. This is 2020. So now it's November 2020. That's when my poor reviews were like my, my village witches were in their bag. The village witches were really concocting the spells very well. Two terrible reviews in November 2020. Like the village witches were really in their bag, man. I need six Instagram story icons. We chat about it. Cool. Okay. Think about this um, deal. It blew my mind. Fifteen dollars. We had no issues in the conversation. So that means. So yeah. That's the funny thing. I had no issues when we were chatting. Oh, 11 a.m. 1 a.m. here. Good. That's uh, take care. Blah 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 blah. So I give two examples. So look at look at how much effort I put. All these things need one each. The infographics is one that he needed, but I gave him two samples, either this or this. Then now he says I should put this pencil inside the notebook. Like I can enter the picture and pick the pencil and put it in the notebook. Right. So I do three versions of the picture and a pencil in the notebook. See how patient I was. Three different types. And I also made extra two, so five extras. So, so far, I like these two. Let's move on to the next icon. So, I'm still debating if I like solid black or draft star. Give me a few hours to decide. Look at this. 
the patience that I had for this. And he came back out of nowhere, 10 p.m. Unfortunately, I don't find design for any creativity or emotions with, especially with easy projects like this. However, I know I could have chose what's from what can you make a touch and pencil from as a photographer? Do you want to try something again? Uh, I think for people I'll make this is uh, a for example. A few designs I try. Thank you, send them. Those are still easy to find on Google. Google, how do you find these things on Google? Please, I can say, anyhow, make a friend that's not pick that one and pick so. After I adjust it, so you don't like it, I'm still asking for more things. After I adjust, please add the following with pink letter as well. Thank you. Sure, here you go. Can you release those images from without five watermark? You want the images. Can you release those images from without a watermark? So I deliver the final one. And then I delivered it, and then this guy says, which is very responsive, it's amazing, but it also feel this opportunity will be designing creativity all the best stupid two 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 service two after all the changes i did for you and you are giving me two stars for service buy again or recommend two stars man this guy's a piece of crap man so yeah i wrote another review i didn't find some because i thought it was interesting yeah I thought I'd be we collaborating a lot, even though it wasted my time from 7th November to 13th. I, I gave him five stars. This one was even disappointing. The other one, the Enoch H. Lindo guy, this guy, I didn't rate him because I knew that there was something fishy about him. This guy, I thought I'd be getting along well. Thanks for your company, but I'm quite surprised and disappointed by this rating. But I was happy with the results. It was a very peaceful job for a service for a price below my basic package. I just say I thank the order. I thank the buyer for the order and I appreciate it. Three stars is not the end of the world, but it was disappointing. So I went to his inbox. This will go my account's blackboard. I said oh, it will affect my future. He said oh she, he didn't know that he, he wants to see if he can he can try and change it for me and if you can, I tried to ask him to change the rating because I saw on a YouTube video that hey, you can change ratings. So I, ah, I don't understand. If there was something, let me know that I can try and change it. But you give me a three star to affect my future on this. So he submitted a request. So even though this guy was annoying, he tried to change the rating. Like he saw inside and tried to change the rating. So. Yeah, I told him that. I don't understand. So I just talking about not the design. Uh, there's no creativity. It's pretty generic. But I understand. I don't know that they mentioned that. I'm going to disagree on the quality of the work since everyone has their opinion. But I thought a two was quite harsh. So I didn't like the final design. That's why I wanted to close. But it's, it's, look at this. We designed for. I think you try our best. Give you many options. That was very, nice. very disrespectful. Yeah, just like any of my friends are very nice and really and very well. This guy before we had a job, he says oh he knows people from Ghana and this is that uh, for fifteen dollars. The car not taking personal so now part of the same place and point change metro. I mean it's a zero lesson I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean I made many customers who love what I did and paid much more it's life. It's combo very well. So yeah, I told him my mind that look you meet a design that's great things for you and I met many customers who love what I did paid much more it's life i love this combo very well you cannot meet any person be a emily you will never meet in person <laughs> saying i meet her you give me three stars i meet in this no lack of five percent of t-shirt band he even knew my t-shirt so we are like it's, it's ridiculous man i lied i lied richie lied right here he lied so what happened is um yeah he tried to change it and he got a reply from customer service and he said they can't edit the responses i apologize if i cause um let me see after this they sent me a strong warning that i'm not allowed to do this and my account to be suspended and blah 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 blue blah, blue blah, blah, blah. he did a sad face i said i'm good i didn't want to talk to him again because 
my account could have been suspended. I got a very, very stern warning to be honest. And since then, I put it, I didn't even mind him again since. And since then, my gigs no longer run on Fiverr. Back then, when I look at my gigs, I have a lot of impressions for each thousand years, thousand nine, a lot of impressions, a lot of people seeing it on their pages. But after this um, bad review, failing to change review situation, I barely got impressions. It was low like this. In 30 days, I'll be getting 20 impressions, 10. Nobody entered my inbox again. It was like my Fiverr career was completely dead. I wasn't getting messages. And that is what drove me to Upwork. That's what drove me to Upwork. So unintentionally, he drove me towards Upwork. Third and final guy, that's the most violent of all the fights. The first two, I didn't really expect to the bad rating, but this one I did expect the bad rating because I ended up fighting blows. Pew, pew, pew. A lot of pew, pew, pew between him and I, and he will see <laughs> it is the most violent one. So it's an infographic guy called Liam. No matter if infographics are charged $10, but he said, I have a lot more infographic for you if you decide to go with me. So I'll give you just three to test $5 each. I did it. He asked for change. I did it. Asked for change. I did it. Asked for change. Then sent a video and I was condescending the video, talking all kinds of crap. And I told him my mind. He spoke his mind. I told him my mind again. He stopped replying to me for about 10 days and then eventually gave me a low rating and so yeah stay tuned to find out how it transpired i'll not be back after this this is the last time you see me for this video so enjoy and i will see you all on the next one peace yes this is my final bad rating this one i expected a one star from it because we, we were fighting we fought we fought blows and this is the first order i did for him after the video beautiful infographic benefits of regular dog grooming this is what i did very nice very attractive um, three designs for 15 dollars this one was something else for landscaping very very nice designs this one is roof repair replacement nice infographic this is a typical client who wants you to do the world for little so I made changes, I sent him, I kept sending him so many, I delivered the final one, he asked for revision, uh, I made the changes according to revision, he just said minor, minor changes that he wanted, the way the lettering, letter spacing, etc. He came for a, a revision and he sounded condescending and rude, I cannot play the whole thing because so me too, I told him my mind. I believe they are looking for a premium service for $5 because he was pissing me off. That loom video really pissed me off. I was talking like, I was saying all kinds of dumb stuff, but I don't remember because it's been a while. So I'm interested in the whole, but it should be separated. Yeah, I told him that let's order, let's make it, let's make it separate. $5 for one, $5 for one, $5 for one. So as far as these three designs, because I spent more time working on them than designs I've charged more from. If I'm to redo the entire design to exceed my face, to be honest, I can only tweak these further and start to new. He wanted me to redo the, the entire design upon all the deliveries I've sent. He wanted me to redo it from scratch. And I decided to do one more tweak for him, for the roofing. I decided to do this one for him as well. Right. I know you guys say, oh, these are decent. I decided to also do another a tweak for this one to make it a little bit more attractive. Blah, blah, blah. I find this guy is inadequate. And what you are saying to me, and then you, then you took on this job not being honest with me. You have $15, see all this talk. Before I started any work, before I wanted to share examples of your own work, and you told that this what I was going for. You agreed to take on a job on that basis. Uh, I paid a query not for explanation, but because of that, I'm going to dispute the charge. As it turns out, this has been a massive time waste. I don't have time to waste. You can either cancel the job or dispute the charge. I don't appreciate being. What nonsense is this? 
So I said, I did not take the job and give you some power. I took the job because it's potential for more jobs and potential. But that was interesting. Yes, this job he was like, I have 15 designs for you, but I want to start with three. That's why the price is like this. It's just a test. So you wanted a portrait for guys that will work. I did my best to present information from the other timeline the best way possible in the same dimension. As far as I stuck to the dimensions, it was the same mindset I took the designs from. What I did not appreciate is your final review after me making as many revisions for you to want a total change. I not give Sapa all at all, but to demand a total change after all the work I put in your critical tone was disappointing. So I know English will tell you. The English is coming. As far as time wasted, I spent a lot of my time recopying the text, editing the images, and making numerous changes to make it happy. I realized that even if the design is something else, you may ask for revisions and redesign, and my time will be consumed even more. I won't say you've wasted my time. There's no reason to consider a job according to Firebolt's rewards. I even provided alternate designs to make you happy. Good morning. I'll work on the final designs and send over. We do not have to agree to anything, but we can settle this peacefully. So I sent him the final designs. He completed the order. He didn't dispute the charge, but he gave me a three star. Which was a nice guy, comments are merely about the work. I was unhappy with the experience and the time I wasted. I cited and referenced past examples of work. I challenged him as a prior, blah, 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 blah. which one sent to me. These are more expensive. Yet I referenced the same designs uh, and, never, and never indicated that he could not, or it would be more dollars. So I saw how the things around this quite untrue, like I wanted a whole new design after three revisions were made and I was getting close to the final conclusion. Yes, we were close. Like he said, make this small change, make this small change and we'll be done. We were very close, but made those small changes. Then he gets up and like, change the whole design for something else. Hey, my guy, it will cost more money for that. The deal was half the price of my basic offer on my normal infographic gig. Infographic, I used to charge $10 per infographic. I explained to him that I can only make tweaks at that stage and not wholesale changes. He didn't take it well and refused to reply on messages. Yeah, refused to reply on messages um, where? from here. 21st October, he didn't reply. 21st, he didn't reply. 26th October, he didn't reply. 27th, I sent it. It was automatically completed on the 30th. Then, November 1st, he gave me this trash rating. I expected one star to be honest. He was honest himself and gave me a communication file. That means on Fiverr, my communication has been five stars throughout. I am the communication chief. So yeah, I didn't. He didn't take it while well refused to reply on messages. A job that could have been taken, job that could have taken three days max, ended up going for fourteen days. Fifteen dollars, fourteen days. Because I tried to get his attention with different variations. No ill feelings though. I respect the bar. I focus my love on all the amazing clients I've had and the future clients who will team up with me. Um, review experience, but I didn't review because as a freelancer, you have to review before you see the client's review. If you don't review for a while, for some days, then you will see the client's review, but you will not be able to review. You will only be able to reply to the review. So I did not review him because I was going to give him one star rating. The fact that he didn't reply to me for, for so many days, I was going to give him a one star rating. But that was it. I got three stars. When I saw the rating, I was like, wow, I expected a one star rating. But he gave me a three star. Interesting. So, yeah, as a freelancer, when you get a bad rating, you do not have to say to insult the buyer. You have to say it in a very calm, respectful tone because other people will be watching. People read your negative reviews before giving you a job, so I think I defended myself very well. So that's it, these are the three terrible, terrible, terrible experiences on Fiverr.